Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly model the SS Georgie from Stephen King's It in Fusion 360. So let's jump in here and get started. We're going to go ahead and start by creating a sketch and drawing out some lines here. We're not going to worry about our dimensions yet. And select both of these and choose midpoint and that's going to lock them to the center. And now I'm going to select them and change them to construction lines by hitting X. And now we can add some dimensions to this. So I know I want this to be uh, 75 millimeters long and 35 millimeters wide. Okay, now all we have to do is just start connecting these points to draw out our diamond shape. And we're going to add a couple other offsets here for uh, some other things later. So we're going to select this, offset by to the outside by 3, mil three millimeters, and we're going to offset inside by 3 millimeters. And we're going to also take this original sketch and offset it really small into the middle, almost forming a point, but not quite all the way. And now we can stop this sketch and we're going to create an offset plane. So select any one of these faces. We're going to go up 15 millimeters. And now we're going to create a new sketch on that offset plane and project this outer geometry. We can go ahead and hit OK, stop sketch. And now we're going to make a loft by going to create, loft, selecting that first uh, sketch we drew, and then now selecting that offset plane sketch. And this is going to loft our shape up at an angle. Now we don't want it to be solid on the inside, so we're going to go to Modify, Shell, and we'll do a 2 millimeter shell. And the next thing that I see is I don't want this to be flat across the top, and I'd like kind of a, a cutout like it was folded. So we're going to go ahead and create one more sketch on this side plane. And we can project this geometry one more time just to help out a little bit. And now we want to draw a line from the end right to the middle. And now if we stop our sketch, we can see we have this uh, shape in the middle. And we're going to extrude that and go direction, symmetric, and cut all the way through. And now we have this uh, kind of folded looking shape. Now the next thing we want to do is turn that sketch back on, our first sketch, so we can see it, and we're going to construct another offset plane, and we're going to go up to the side, let's see what looks good, how about, uh, let's go 35, let's go 30 millimeters. Now we're going to create a sketch on this plane, and we need to hide this body so we can see that point that we made here. So we're going to project this geometry and hit OK. Stop sketch. And now we can do another loft from this to this new uh, sketch we created here. And by default it's going to want to cut this out, which we don't want. So we're going to change the operation to join and take a look at it. Uh, maybe we could bring this up a little higher, so all we have to do is edit our offset plane, and we'll change that to 35 millimeters, and hit OK. Now that bumped it up higher. Uh, since this is a paper, supposed to look kind of like a paper folded object, we're actually going to add some fillets around here to make it look like the paper has been folded. Do one millimeter, see how that looks. Looks pretty good. And now I'd also like to add some fillets to this as well so it's not as sharp. And this one I'll just do a 0.5. And we'll add some more on this outside face. Add a bigger one on the bottom, and this will actually help it 
lift off the build plate if you're 3D printing it. And we'll put one here on the inside as well just to give a little bit of extra strength. And let's do one and a half. Do one. And there we go. That's pretty much it. But we can add a couple uh, extra things here to um, jazz it up a little bit. So uh, I'm going to construct an offset plane on this lofted face that we created. And now I'm going to insert an SVG file that I created earlier. And this is going to look like some handwritten text uh, that, that is on the boat. Scale it up a little bit and get it in place and put a little angle on it to try to match that. And then hit OK and that created some sketch geometry for us so we can stop sketch. And now we can extrude these faces. half a millimeter you can see there uh, if you would like you also could emboss it into the surface like so I think it will look I think it'll print better if we do it on the outside so then we have that there and you want to make sure join is selected so this becomes one body and hit OK and then it's finished So super quick and simple, uh, hopefully you try making one yourself. If you don't want to make this yourself and just want to print one out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer questions in the comments below. And uh, hopefully you give this a try yourself. And uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon. All right, bye.